Well, it's been over a year since the beaver were located down in downtown San Jose on the Guadalupe. Um, back then, uh, Roger Castillo and I were walking, uh, doing a survey of the downtown. We looked down on the bridge at St. John's and lo and behold, there was a tree that was all chewed up and we're thinking, what in the heck is going on here? So we walked on down to the creek and here we discovered, you know, you could see the teeth mark of the beaver and uh, turned out that there were multiple beaver at that site. As time has gone on, we saw evidence of them up on Los Gatos Creek. Uh, people are speculating where did they actually come from? Did they come from the Santa Cruz Mountains? You know, did they come in from the bay? Uh, because we have beaver uh, that are being documented up in Martinez. Uh, the, we believe that they came from the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, the story only gets better because uh, through rumors I've heard that they attached the placement of these beaver to uh, a potential effort by uh, some retired Department of Fish and Wildlife game wardens who went up into the uh, Sierras and trapped some beaver, brought them down into our area, and they were uh, planted up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And as the family has grown, they've moved down into the valley. So we've sort of put a collection from our wildlife camera that we had out uh, together so that you can kind of enjoy you know, their uh, activities on Los Gatos Creek. Following reports from our people that were involved in the cleanups and earlier in the year when we were uh, trying to identify where the Chinook salmon were in the creek, we came upon this area and there was a lot of fresh activity. After one of the cleanups, you could actually see a trail wet trail leading away from the creek and then a lot of uh, chewed up branches and a couple trees that had, uh, had been chewed to the point where they fell. Got a hold of this wildlife camera and put it in a couple spots and this was like our third attempt. Uh, we were able to actually find the right spot and uh, catch the beaver in action. It was interesting because not only do you see a beaver, but you also see the other animals that were active in the same area on the creek. It was pretty surprising, you know, in this segment we're looking at the beaver in the water with the raccoon on the shore, right on the leaf nest that the beaver was, has been building. Um, you also had skunk coming through here and we'll, you'll see a couple other surprises. So the segment of video was over probably a 10 day period and we literally got hundreds of video. In this one you see the beaver swimming up with another pile of leaves. Uh, it was too dark, we really couldn't show you this, but at one point we had duck in the very background and I think the beaver was not happy with it so he actually swam over and invited them to fly away. So that was kind of an interesting thing, but it's just so interesting the whole dynamic of you know, the animals sort of sharing the creek here and everybody sort of getting along. You know, it was pretty interesting because this camera was running in the evening and the day. And so, you know, just when you thought you had everything figured out, come to find in the day, the ducks were sitting on top of the leaf nest that the beaver had created in uh, its night activity.
they are herbivores, so they live off of the plant life, the bark off the trees, and that's pretty much their diet. And here we see him sort of uh, consuming some of the branches and sticks that he's sort of uh, uh, either brought in from the riparian zone along the creek or right in the water. So here he is busily grabbing materials. We have not seen any, you know, den or, you know, a, a, a beaver lodge that's been created at this point. Uh, been sort of looking in that area, but nothing so far. Uh, we speculate he's probably living up under one of the ledges that's been caused by erosion, but it's underwater and he has access from the creek in. Uh, and so that's where uh, the beaver's living at this point. As you can see, he seems to be enjoying himself in this section of our creek. You know, there's been a lot of major cleanups that we've been doing. And you know, again, I really think that you know, as, as we start taking care of this creek, we're gonna be rewarded with these type of uh, responses from nature. So it's just one of those positive signals that we're, we're on the right path here. You, know, you never know what you're going to capture when you put one of these cameras out. Uh, we actually have on, up near Vasona County Park in the eucalyptus trees, there's a, a rookery of great blue heron. And along the creek, you'll actually see these majestic birds. Surprisingly, here we had one sort of uh, scouting out uh, that same area right where the beaver was. So it's just amazing how many different animals and the wildlife that are sort of interconnected on this creek. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. It was fun putting it together. Um, we have a new addition to our Los Gatos Creek and I think the actions and work that we've been doing to clean up the creek are paying off with these sort of things happening. Beaver have not been in this creek in the last 160 years because they were trapped to extinction, so it's wonderful to see them returning. Thank you.